hey y'all so i did my hair and bgm girl sent me this wig thank you girl i love my hair so much so keep watching to see how i got this look very look see it's giving grown and sexy oh she's giving baldiana but this is the wig they sent me it's a 4 6 13 26 inch highlighted wig and it's a lace front so that means it goes deeper in the middle than it does on the sides as far as parting space it's not a full frontal it does come with an adjustable band though so you can make sure that it fits you nice and you know snug i'm cleaning the front of my hairline where i anticipate laying glue down at with alcohol because that's going to help my glue stick and it's going to help you know it's going to help keep my wig on so i'm doing a tiktok while i'm doing this youtube video so if you see me like being very animated or whatever that's why i like to break off my glue into sections i start off in the middle and you saw i already smoothed that out with the end of my rat tail comb and then i move on and i do the temples and the sideburns area i like to do kind of a thick layer of glue when i say thick i don't mean the amount that I'm letting out of the tube I mean as far as width how wide it is I kind of like it to be kind of wide maybe some of it touches my edges maybe some of it doesn't but I take off my wigs with C22 so I don't ever lose my edges and I don't keep them on for more than like a day two days three days at most so I don't have problems with that but layering my glue kind of thick helps keep my wig on better and longer and I did two layers once it was clear I did my second layer and then once that was clear I started putting my wig on and again I break it off in sections I like to start in the middle I line up the hairline of the wig to the edges of the glue or I take the edges of the wig a little past the edges of the glue just to make sure that when I cut off the excess I don't have no glue residue on my face because I lined up the edges well, I lined up the hairline to the edges of the glue properly. Anyways, I use my fingers to press that in lightly. And then I go back and I use my comb to press it in. I like to hold on to one side while I'm pulling the other side just so it doesn't start lifting on me. And when I feel like, okay, it's secure enough, I could let it go. And then I could really start melting the side that I'm working on with my fingers and my comb. I told y'all that I was like filming on TikTok at the same time. So I'm filming my TikTok and then I see that this is still recording. I got so embarrassed. I tied my hair down with an elastic melt band and I blow dry that for like about 10 minutes. Next, I'm cutting off the excess lace and I cut off as close to the edges of the hairline that is glued down as possible. So that means if it's not sticking to glue, I'm going to cut it off after I initially like cut off the excess i go back and i cut even closer to anything that's lifting up so all i have now is lace that is actually glued down not lace that's just sticking up doing whatever you want to do if you don't cut around your ears properly it could literally cause you pain so i part around my ear and then i cut on the part that i just made to make sure that it fits on top of my ear comfortably because i don't have time to be in pain from a wig i will snatch it off moving into the other side i do the same thing i cut off anything that is not glued down and i don't cut in a straight line i like to cut in a zigzag line to help make the hairline look more natural i did add some makeup to the bottom of the lace but i guess it wasn't enough so i had to go ahead and just add whatever was on this brush and now i'm stressed out i'm like i don't know what i want to do to my hair so now i'm pre-planning my hair dudes before i get on camera i already know what i'm gonna do because i don't have time i cannot be stressed out i am not created to be stressed and overwhelmed so for having melt this wig only one time i feel like it looks pretty good it's definitely giving transparent lace it's not giving hd i don't know what it is but i feel like it's transparent just because of like the thickness and how it kind of has a little bit of a cast even though I put makeup. And TikTok be lying. They said this spray is that girl better than got to be. We'll see. But TikTok be lying. But I was influenced so I bought it. I want to see how it works out. And so far, melting my wig for the second time with the spray. It looks like it's helping it melt into the skin. But let's see what it look like after I take this band off. Okay. She cool. But I don't know if she better than got to be. I got to test her out some more. I don't know. 
right now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do to my hair girl so I did this little fake side part with this little swoop I'm like is this cute and then I did like a half up half down and I'm looking at it and I'm like nah I don't want no ponytail so side part it is and to do my side part I like it to be curved so I'm like curving it all the way from the back to the front like a half a O or a C shape and I honestly was there for a minute I just showed y'all like two seconds of that but once I got it kind of like how I wanted it I just started to hot comb my hair with no product I'm just trying to start getting it like flattened out start molding it and training it to go this way instead of whatever way it was going before there's so many ways to like flatten your wig out but my product of choice today was the wax stick so I just put the wax stick over everywhere where I needed to be flat and then I hot comb the product in actually I don't want it to be all the way flat I need some volume right here in this area so to do that I'm just using my hot comb I'm not passing it all the way through I'm kind of curving it a little bit just so that I could create some volume right in the front like a little hump type thing I don't know what to call it I also always like to hot comb my roots no matter what hairstyle I'm doing I hot comb my roots because I feel like if the roots are flat then it helps to make this look more like scalpiana now I'm going to start souping my baby. No, I'm not. I'm going to clean my part is what I'm going to do. I feel like once I put makeup on the part and I trace it and I make it pop out more, like that just takes my install to the next level. Now I'm parting out my baby hair and I like to do like a little triangle shape when I'm doing a side part with the swoop. And I swooped it just to make sure like this is how I actually want it. And once I figured it out, I cut them from shortest to longest along with my sideburns and I started swooping them with the mousse i think i didn't like speed up these clips because i really wanted y'all to see how long it takes me and how i swoop it i think so y'all could just watch and actually y'all not gonna just watch i'm gonna tell y'all what i'm doing so the key to getting a perfect side part to me is you gotta swoop the edges into the rest of the hair like you cannot have the edges on a side part style especially look like it's across the street from the rest of the hair you have to merge them together so i let the little swoop part the baby hair part dry a little bit and then i added more mousse and i'm putting it on the rest of the hair along with the baby hair and i'm like combining them i'm trying to get this to be gradient i want the baby hair to be swooped together with the rest of the hair as it's flowing back you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying because you're not slow i know you get what i'm saying and then i blow dry that some more just so i could you know keep it in place as i'm working on other parts of my hair Baby hair is done, so now we can start styling the rest of my hair. And I'm just combing it down in place how I want it to fall when the look is complete. And now I'm going to start chopping this hair up. I got to add some layers. I want to get better with layers because right now I think I'd be face framing. But I want to learn how to do layers like all around my head. And I have a very, very detailed layer video that I will link up here if you're interested in how to basically like face frame whether you keep your hair straight or whether you curl it basically the gist of it is that I cut going down in an angle and then when I'm picking up my next section I'm using my previous section as a guide to where to start coming from and I just keep cutting down going straight and not going straight but going down in an angle and I do the same thing on both sides once I cut that first piece I take a little bit of that first section and I add it in my next section and I use it as a guide to keep cutting I love this heat protectant it's my favorite heat protectant is lightweight it doesn't make the hair greasy but it makes the hair super 
like silky so I sprayed that all over I brushed it in and then I started curling my hair I also have a very detailed video on how I like to curl and I'll link that up here basically what I do is I curl going backwards everybody says that and you're like huh curl going backwards what does that mean I know I hate when people just half explain stuff like if you're gonna tell me how to do it then tell me how to do it and I definitely did explain in that video that I linked so I'm not going to do too much of explaining right now. You guys could just curl my hair with me. Oh, but a trick that I do know that I found off of TikTok is while the hair is in the barrel, if you spray it with like your holding spray in this video, I'm using spritz, it helps the curls last longer. So try it. Let me know if it works for you. I curled this hair basically in like four sections on this side. I love big barrel curls. I think this barrel is like a 1.25. I'm not 100% sure, but check my description box and the right accurate barrel will actually be there. But I love big barrel curls. I just think they're so sexy. This little single strand of hair got caught in a crossfire and I 100% ignored it and kept doing what I was doing. <laughs> so I found that the combs that you use to comb out your curls matter. So I like to focus like a wide tooth comb kind of more towards the bottom and it gives me like a soft, flowy, effortless look. But once I'm trying to like fix out the girl on tiktok but once i'm trying to like fix the bang in the top i feel like a smaller comb works better because it helps keep it tight and together and neat and polished and detail and intentional and all of that you know sometimes as i'm coming out i don't even take the comb all the way to the ends i just comb out the part that i want to look neater but i don't take it all the way to the ends because i don't want the curls to separate so you have to be like intentional when you're combing out your hair that's crazy right it's so many rules well it's no rules but it's so many techniques feeling myself in casita yeah so have y'all ever seen the side part styled so that this area right here is not flat i didn't want it to just go flat down the side of my face so i'm using my hot comb to kind of create some volume that's how we got here thank you again bgm girl for sponsoring this video all their information is in my description box if you like this video and you watch the whole thing then you like it so like the video comment like share subscribe do it all but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye